You want answers? What, what's that going to set up? We've got to go to work. It, it's the Strat, Strat Attack, Attack Show. show. But we're always wondering what the next two is. Holy shnikes at work. That's something I want, I want to know about. What's your name, scumbag? Strat Attack Show. We're on a mission from God. Here's, Here's Rob, Rob Smith. Smith. Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith with a special Wednesday edition of the Strat Attack, so we get into the urban assault vehicle and see what's going on. So, uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of cross currents here, and as much as, uh, you know, they talked about us getting slammed, here's the spy getting slammed yesterday, today you can see this slight lower low. And so the possibility that we just have this internal broadening formation in here, these higher highs, these lower lows, because we know the Fed's coming next week, right? And so... That's something we want to know about. There's a lot of things, you know, are close to being an outside week to the downside. Uh, but today, we have a lot of inside days. QQQ, SMH, uh, all these things are inside days. And we, we have the Fed coming, right? So we've been waiting for this for a long time. So one of the things that, uh, you know, I'm not going to waste too much time here because what we want to do is we look at the scans, Okay, and I, you know, you, I've done this a lot of times, but it's really important that, you know, you've heard me talk about this before, come on, man, is that scanning can tell you what the internals of the market are doing. So if you look at this and say, okay, here's all the uh, things that are weekly taking out the lows, right? Most of them are outside weeks, and you've got NVIDIA, but you've also got an inside day. Right, uh, or not an you got inside date and SMH and the Qs, AMD. So you've got some of these guys, Google, some of the big boys are taking out uh, last week's lows, right? But uh, what we want to look at who's taking out last week's highs, right? Because the market's going to trade in the direction of the most twos, the most failed twos going three and ones with um, continuity. So here, if you look at this. And we know AMTD and HKD were doing their shenanigans again today. But you got Tesla, we talked about in the, in the uh, nightly vid, CCL, Uber, DraftKings, Riven, Starbucks, Exxon, a bunch of energies, uh, Lucid, AMC, that are taking out last week's highs. So that what that tells me is that we've got uh, some conflict where some things are going up, some things are going down. And that's when you have the market stall out the way you're seeing it do it here. We, they did the one hit, right? But it was really back through the range because if we go to the monthly, it's just back to a doji. So we've been waiting to see when we get discernible movement here. And, you know, I, I use this analogy that, you know, it could be, you know, not until the end of the month that these things really start to move because this was a Friday. Here's keys. This was a Friday. This was a Friday. You know, all this kind of stuff. So sometimes it takes more time. Say, okay, well, we're waiting for the Fed. Is it 75? Is it 100? What is it? And how is that going to affect everything? So, you know, we're not going to waste too much time here, and we're going day by day. And like I said, if you go to the QQQ, you got an inside day. You've got SMH as an inside day. You've got a bunch of big boys like Apple, Amazon, all inside days. And we got one week till the Fed. And it's been a while since we've heard anything from the Fed. So uh, we'll see that. Mostly uh, energies are trading higher here again. And we know these have been our boys all, <laughs> all year. And taking out last year's Conoco, two down, two up. So it would be a different story if everything was about to go three on the week or was two down on the week. But we're not seeing that. So uh, it's not surprising to see that stall out even after we had you know, a nice sell-off. But it was, you know, SPY in the daily, but it was back to previous range, you know. And the question is, are we going to be weak enough to take this out? We'll come see in the morning. Uh, but uh, at this point, when you have this kind of conflict, now, if you can get all these Qsters to break the inside days to the downside, well, that would get my attention too. But you know, if they start going to the upside, uh, when things occur matters, right? And so what we'd want to see here, is if, if, if these breaks hold. And what I mean by that is you get to the end of the day, can we? St how are you not going to be a multiple inside pattern? How are you going to take this high out, right? So ideally, what we'd want to see is go up 
and then set up rev strat Fridays for, do you want to hold them over the weekend now, do you? And then, boom, hit them all rev strats to the downside. So if these things do break to the upside, it would be a simultaneous break on a daily. However, that needs to hold because you've got a lot of weekly that are nowhere near, uh, especially in the queues, taking this day out. Right, so if you can set up the rev strat and then boom, Friday finish them off with the outside week, that would be something. Uh, and that's why you know we're always willing to go either way. Be like, if it goes, if the market, you always want to have three plans. If the market's doing nothing, what do I do? If the market goes up, what am I going to do? If the market goes down, what am I going to do? And that's why you know you also hear us say uh, every sixty is like a new day to us. So I want to know, you know, how do how do you get out of all this? Because we got stuck in here. You see all these bars. Within these two bars, just stuck in here, chop shop back and forth, rev strat here to a minor extent. But and yeah, it's tradable. It just uh, you know we like to have bigger magnitude, which we don't have. We're hoping to get that on the monthly stuff, which we're not getting just yet. Uh, however, there's a lot of things that are closer to being an outside week to the downside. But you have all these big boys going inside day, right? And so that um, that's that's the question going forward into the end of the week. Um, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time because we really want to see the Fed come out. What are they going to do? 75 or 100? And it's been a long wait, but sometimes, you know, that's what this market, that's what market trading is about, is the patience. I mean, like, look, on the monthly basis, what are the Qs doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. They are taking this low out, and I've, t I've talked about these levels, uh, you know, over and over this month. Uh, and but they're gonna, they will stay important as we especially as we come to the Fed. The low of last month was two ninety eight forty four, right here, and we're below that. And the opening of the month two ninety six seventy two, and we're sitting pretty close to that right after hour. So really not doing anything. Back and forth, back and forth, day to day basis, and that's okay because we know that. But uh, obviously, we like long red and green bars, which we don't have. But uh, with the Fed coming out, we'll see what they do. And then we're coming into, uh, after that, we're getting closer to coming into the fourth quarter. And if we go to here, let's go back to the TC2000 here. If we go to the SPY on the quarterly, you'll see this. Inside quarter. Now, <laughs> now you're going to get my attention. And I, I know patience is going to be the hardest thing I'll have to teach and be like, well, if it's not doing anything, we're going to go back and forth. We'll take it day by day. But coming into the fourth quarter right now, inside quarter, right? And then we're going to have the yearly coming up. And the yearly, we know, is an outside year. Then the question is coming into the new year, which side of this thing do we take out? <laughs> and we're closer to taking the downside. So, uh, obviously, we want the easier play. And if we get that quarterly to go inside quarter and down into the fourth quarter, then maybe we can really crush them here. But, uh, you know, we want to see how the Fed comes out. And, you know, we talk about continuity levels, the opening, you know, the higher highs or lower lows, whatever it is. Uh, but the Fed announcement itself is a continuity level. How does the market react to whatever they say? be at 100, be at 75, are we above that, are we below that after that comes out? And so, unfortunately, we got another week, but that's what patience is of virtue, is what they say. So, um, let's play it as it is. Like I said, we've got some of the energy stocks taking out last week's highs. you got a lot of tech stocks inside days coming into a Thursday. And so, we're going to watch the motion of the ocean. So, especially for futures traders, when you're trying to look at the spy and say, I think this, I think that, or cues, or whatever it is, uh, you know, or the NQs or whatever it is, that you want to be able to watch the internals, right? And that's why they're like, Rob, how come you have so many screens? I'm like, I'm watching the internals. And so I'm like, you think SPY is going to collapse? I'm like, no, <laughs> like, I don't. I'm like, if you've got all these, uh, you know, energy stocks above last week's highs, uh, but if I can see a high concentration in one direction, that's where we get that high conviction, that high probability and say, okay, now nah, everything's a two down. Now, now it's go time, right? So like yesterday, Almost everything was a two down on the day, right here, right? Today, that was not true. <laughs> that was not true. And you could, this wasn't weak enough to get some of these weeklies to pull back into the last week's range, right? That's, that's something I'd want to know about. And that's why you look at multiple time frame analysis and say, all it's doing 
is coming back into nothing land. Nothing, nothing bigger. <laughs> Waiting on the Fed. Doji's on the month. And, you know, the deeper you get into the month, the more of a concern that is. Uh, because then we can expect things just to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We want these nice long red and green bars. All right. That tells us what to do right here. Back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to continue to look at the internals each day to say, okay, who's weak today? Who's strong today? All right. And then the next day, always looking at what's the next two? What's closer to being the next two? All right. And so if we go back to the daily here, there was no way <laughs> yesterday that you're going, you're going to three this thing. Uh-uh. That was a two down, and that was it, man. Yeah, that's, you know, when people talk about, oh, it's the biggest down day in years. I'm like, I'm like, well, if you look at this bar, this is what we prefer. Open flat and then get compounded. This was a gap. And so, you know, that's, that's a, it's a different ballgame. <laughs> it's a different ballgame. So I can say this was a much bigger down day than that, right, as far as we're concerned. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them open and then stay on them. All these inside days for tomorrow uh, for the – Apple, Amazon, and SMH, and all that kind of stuff, uh, certainly will tell some of the tale. And then we want to see as we come into the end of the week, do the energies hold, or do they back off and set up for potential 2-2 reversals to the downside coming into the new week? And we got the Fed. So, you know, the, just people doing things. Uh, it's just on a monthly basis, not doing a lot of things. Right? So we really, really want this Fed to come out. All right, that's going to do it for this week. I'm Rob Smith. Mr. Black, Strat Attack. You've been listening to the Strat Attack Show. It's over. That looks like I'm running out of time again. You ever seen a grown man naked? And now for something completely different. Yeah. Did you get that memo? Let's go to Billy Baru. <laughs> Here's where they're buying. Oh, behave. Here's where they're selling. Oh, righty. I'd keep an eye on this. Is that a problem? It is. You just don't turn it off. I'm Rob Smith. I hate Illinois Nazis. I'm Smith in the Black with the Strat Attack.